Hi all, this video is regarding to our object-oriented programming mini project called Cost Management System, prepared by my group Steady from PP. There's three members in my group, including me. First of all, I will present about UML diagram in our system. As you can see, there are six classes here which are user, admin, student, cost, cost registration, and cost. All the attributes and methods we'll be using and also you will realize that all the attributes and methods are public with the symbol here, plus. It means that all the classes can be accessed by any other classes. Let's talk about the class user. Class user, as you can see, you can see there's three attributes here, which is user ID, username, user password, using string data type, and a method login in class user. Class diagram should be generation or what we call inheritance between the superclass user and two subclasses admin and student. How we know it? Using this arrow. Next is the class admin. The class admin have no attributes but have few methods here, which is set member, set cost ID, set teacher, add cost, delete cost, search cost, view cost, add student, date student, search student, and view student. Then is the class student. Have also no attributes with four methods which is add courses registration register course drop course will register course and you can see that there's a line there is actually an association represent a family of link so actually they are related Then next is the class cost. Class cost have no methods but have four attributes which is the cost ID, cost name, teacher and number of day. And you can see there's three unidirectional arrow represent the static relationship shared among the objects of classes. And next is the cost registration. You can see that the composition error between the cost and the cost registration cost is actually uh, part of the cost registration. Then next is the cost. It's inheritance from the cost. And for cost, class cost have attribute daily charge and method calculate cost with data type double. Now it's for the GUI interface. This GUI interface is student registration system. You can log in as admin or student. First, I choose admin and the username and the password. Then we go log in and admin menu. We can choose student information or course information. I choose student information and register student first and I register student name done. The ID name and 
ID and the name is same and we submit if we register a student if you didn't fill up anything and submit you will choose click make sure all sections are filled uh, next we go to delete student uh, we delete student name Adrian then student ID didn't exit so I try another successfully deleted I go to search student here is ID, name and the password then we go to view all student we have 6 students here And we can go to course information now for the registered course. You cannot uh, sim uh, click submit button if you didn't fill up anything. So you must fill up. Then you submit. And for the delete course, you can delete the course and the course ID delete and successfully deleted. For the search, you also can search the course. Here is the result. The ID name is PITP3113 and the objector, objector oriented program and the teacher and the number of days. We can also view the course. Now we have three courses in the list. Statistic, Object, OOP and Operating System. Since we do not register any course, we go to register course first. Then it will display the course we want to. You can choose. For example, I choose the first one. Then the message will come out. We successfully register a course. You can either pick up to register a course again. If you register a co course again, you will see that the course you register have been moving out of the list, so you can choose these two only. The, the course is successfully registered. Now you can drop the course. You can enter the course ID to delete. 
so I did it number four statistic it was so successfully deleted then we go back to drop cost again you will see that the number four registration ID is out of the cost registration list uh, this is uh, so we back and we lock out and here is the end of the student registration system